On the night of February 27, 1993, the Reichstag building was set on fire. During the fire, Adolf Hitler was having dinner with Joseph Goebbels. He was then made aware that there was a fire in the German parliament building. He didn't know what to do, and he didn't know what to tell the people of Germany. So what did Hitler tell the people? He claimed that this was the start of a communist revolt. With communist electoral participation also suppressed, the communists previously pulled 70% of the vote, the Nazis were able to increase their share of the vote in the 5th of March 1993, Reichstag elections from 33% to 44%. This gave the Nazis and their allies, the German National People's Party, who won 8% of the vote, a majority of 52% in the Reichstag. So this was all just one big political move to push the Nazis ahead of everyone else in the government. A decree was passed shortly after the fire. The decree permitted the restriction of the right to assembly, freedom of speech, and freedom of the press, among all their rights, and it removed all restraints on police investigations. With the decree in place, the regimen was free to arrest and incarcerate political opponents without specific charge, dissolve political organizations, and suppress publications. At this point, Hitler was telling the people that this was a communist action, that the communists set the fire, and he accused Marius van der Lubbe of starting the fire. This raises the question if van der Lubbe really did it. All we know at this point is that he was executed via guillotine because he was accused. No one knows who started the fire in the Reichstag building. All we know is that Hitler wanted some political standing, so he accused whoever he could to put himself and his party on top. At this point, there's insignificant evidence that proves who really started the fire. Everything we have is based off assumptions or, well, fake news. Disinformation at the Reichstag fire had caused a frenzy. Lots of people were afraid. Disinformation influenced society's behavior and their thoughts. The Reichstag fire had an impact of frenzy because this event is what Hitler used to his advantage. He made the people believe that the communists were to blame because of the decree was passed. This decree suspended the right to assembly, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and other constitutional protections, including all restraints on police investigations. Not only was this disinformation a cause of a frenzy, but it also cost a boy his life, and it allowed someone who wasn't that great, along with his party, who also wasn't great, to rise with even more power and take over large amounts of Europe. 